Hi guys, Andrew here, Urban Automotive, Oakville, Ontario, Canada, here to talk to you about manual transmissions and clutch replacements. Uh, we have here on this uh, customer's vehicle here, um, the clutch wasn't exactly slipping, but it was failed on the floor and not engaging correctly. Uh, indication of a failed uh, pressure plate on this one. Now, we have this one all apart already and ready to go back together. So everything in here in the bell housing is all cleaned up properly inspecting everything when you have it all apart. This is your clutch fork. You want to make sure that this is not cracked or bent in any way because it'll affect the way uh, it pushes in the release bearing. This one here is a cable controlled uh, transmission. So you do have shifter cables that engage to get you your proper gears. Now in this clutch here, we got a kit from our local suppliers here. Uh, it comes with a pressure plate, new friction disc, and a release bearing. Now, the key to doing a proper clutch job is lubricating things properly and making sure they're reassembled correctly. You don't want to use a lot of lube. This clutch kit comes with some spline lube, and what you'll be putting on your spline, just a little bit to help that uh, friction disc slide in and out when it's being engaged and disengaged. A little bit of lube on the uh, bolt here for the um, fork just to get everything moving nice and smooth. You don't want too much lube in there because if it starts getting slung around it can get on your friction disc, contaminate, create a shutter um, and even some slippage. Now on our flywheel here we've had this machine at our local machine shop. Get a new surface out of that rather than the worn out old one. This one here is step, so it's very important that the step in here be within spec. If not, you will not get a good proper clutch feel with this. While we have the transmission out, we're going to be changing the fluid, draining out the old stuff, putting in some fresh fluid in that. And as well, this is a hydraulic clutch system here. And what we're going to be doing, this is the slave here. It's not necessarily leaking, but we've just uh, sprayed down the bleeder screw because we're going to be flushing and bleeding all the uh, all the fluid out of that to get a nice proper feel. This is the transmission completely out here. You can see the rear main seal is here. If you have any signs that this is seeping or weeping or sweating, now's the time to do it. You don't want to have to take all this apart to change your rear main seal if in case it does start leaking on you. So if you have one of the few manual transmission vehicles left here on the road, or any problems with it, feel free to give us a call here, Urban Automotive, safety first.